Hi everybody, this is Lefty Dad bringing you another baseball game on the PC with PC Replay Baseball. And today I'm going to do a game from the memorable matchups disc. And I guess this is volume, well I guess this is maybe volume one because here's volume two and three and there's a four and a five. And uh, 18 powerful teams, nine famous fall classics. So uh, here are the teams that will be in uh, included with this disc that you would get uh, downloaded. And uh, if there are any games here that you'd like me to do, I'm happy to do them. I think today I'll do the 75 Cincinnati Reds against the 75 Boston Red Sox. And I'll let the computer handle Cincinnati, and I will handle Boston. And this is the series with the famous Carlton Fisk call uh, in game six. Uh, and I guess uh, everybody remembers that, but Cincinnati, I think, won that World Series. Anyway, here we go. And we are playing the game at Fenway and uh, you can see one of the great things about PC Replay Baseball is that you have this beautiful display it's I you know I don't think you can find anything better looking or easier to see in terms of not having microscope microscopic print and print, uh, font size and things like that uh, and you you get uh, a great uh, background here and it changes as the game goes on and it's specific to whatever era you're playing uh, but then the bases and the positions are all standardized so you, you don't have to you know uh, try to get the first baseman to be by the first base bag and stuff like that which when you have to do that that almost takes as long as playing the games anyway we've got Rick Wise on the mound for Boston to start this game. And you can see here, Rick, he's 6'2", 195 from Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, he was 19 and 12 that year with a 395 ERA. So let's get things going. Pete Rose is up. He was 34 years old that year and uh, hit. Sorry, my two cats got in a fight, so. I uh, had to referee that. Anyway, let's go with Pete Rose. Hit 317, age 34, and that's going to be a walk. So he's on first. Davy Concepcion is up. And uh, I'm not controlling Cincinnati, so we'll see what the AI does. The AI, there's a ground ball. Could be an error. Burleson is about average, but those two red die numbers would need to be 41 or below. So he muffs the ground ball. Here's Joe Morgan for Cincinnati, 31 years old, hit 327. And uh, he he's rated a five for bunting, so I don't think that he'll be bunting. It's possible the AI could do a hit and run but uh, he doesn't really hit into double plays according to what his card looks like. This is going to be off the second baseman's glove because he was playing halfway for a double play. You can see over here, like right now, uh, the comp uh, this is kind of a default thing that comes up. You'd have him play halfway. Now if you didn't want to do that, you just click HW here. And, uh, uh, well, that's supposed to disappear. I can move them in. I guess they have to play half, halfway uh, in order to uh, get a double play. Anyway, here's Johnny Bench. He's going to walk. So Rick Wise, that was his worst number that he could have gotten. And I'm going to change this so that 
so that I have to click it for it before it moves on. Okay, now uh, they're going to re-roll here, column 5 re-roll, and you can see here there are a variety of things that could happen. It's a wild, could be a wild pitch <coughs> if uh, this die roll is a 4, 5, or 6 higher than a 3 because his wild pitch rating requires a 3, so if it's 3 or less, they're going to be, no, it's not. <coughs> oh, sorry, it is. Uh, if it was 4, 5, or 6, it was a wild pitch. So now, Boston's in trouble. Tony Perez is up, and Tony is going to fly out to left field, but that is going to be a sacrifice fly. So Boston's in tough shape. You can see here Sparky Anderson managing the big red machine, 108 wins. Now here's Cesar Geronimo. Caesar Cesar, I thought. Okay, it's going to be a single up the middle. Rick Wise is in trouble. And you can see here, this is the early hook base runner rating that there's a kind of an algorithm or a formula that you could figure out if you had the board game. It's a direct port of the board game. I, I don't go to all that trouble because the computer does it for me, but if bad things start happening to a pitcher based on what his ratings are, then the early hook base runner uh, situation can occur. And if he allows another hitter walk, maybe even an error, but I know a hitter walk, then he will go to his B ratings, which are the worst ratings he could have again, for the rest of the game. If he can get out of this inning, get two more outs, then it's possible based on you see this little shaded square. There are three different <laughs> shade colors. And this is all explained like I, like you could click on help. I don't know why help is, I guess it, I have to end the play here. But uh, you could click on help. <coughs> and uh, all of this stuff is explained in one of these tabs here. Uh, and I'm not going to take time to do that right now, but it, but <clears throat> there are three different shades. This is light, then there's medium, <clears throat> and then there's dark. And whichever one you have, it will mean that there's going to be a check at the end of this inning. And the, the six-sided die is going to have to roll above a one, a two, or a three. I think it'll have to roll above a three with this light shade. And uh, again, I don't pay any attention to it because the computer does all that for me, but I could <coughs> uh, you know, go back and reverse engineer it, so to speak, to see why it happened. Okay, now Rick Wise is going to try to steal, or uh, uh, Geronimo is going to try to steal. He's got this asterisk here. If he can get a good jump, and that would have, uh, he would have to roll a 34 or higher, then he will steal. And he rolled a 53, so he gets a steal. Okay, so it's been bad, bad news for Boston so far. George Foster is up, got a 518 slugging percentage that year, and uh, he would be a good candidate. Now, he's a good candidate. All these 16s are going to be sacrifice flies, but all these 1s and this 35 would be double plays if I wanted to walk Foster. But then I would have a left-handed Ken Griffey up, so I think at this point we'll just see if we can't strike him out or something and oh double to left field bad decision and you can see here if I would have rolled a two or a uh, or a one or even a th uh, no I'm sorry I'm uh, misstating that if I would have rolled a, a a three or a two or a one on the blue die here, it would have been one of the, it would have been a two, and a two plus 31 is 33, which would have been a line out. But because I rolled a four, a four row here, it's a three. A three plus 31 is a, adds up to 34, which is a double to left field. So uh, it, this is not good. And now there are five runs in. If a pitcher lets in six runs, he's basically out of it. Uh, 
he's going to be at, B, at his B ratings now for the rest of the inning. But if he lets in Foster, then I may as well take him out. But this is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. And Foster moves over to third. And now I do have a chance to kind of... Fortunately, it's early in the game, so there's a lot of opportunity to get back into it. Uh, batting, uh, they'll be batting against Gary Nolan. And uh, Ken Griffey's up, hit 305. It's the big red machine. Well, I guess that, that was Ken Griffey that got out. Okay, Gary Nolan up, is up the pitcher. This is an opportunity to get out of here. Oh, no, this is like the worst roll you could get. There's a single runner on third scores, end of play. He's let in six runs now, so I'm just going to go ahead and take Wise out because it's been a disaster. And uh, I maybe I'll bring in this guy. It looks like this guy can face a lot of hitters, so I will bring him in. He can face 12 batters, so Dick Pole, and he's uh, I don't really remember Dick Pohl, but uh, Dick Pohl is 24 years old. He debuted in 73, near the end of the season, from Trout Creek, Michigan. So let's see, they batted around now. Pete Rose up for the second time, and they hit him. <laughs> so I guess they're mad that uh, Cincinnati has run up the score here. Here's David Concepcion, he got on with an error and this is going to be a base hit to right field. And uh, now you see uh, you can check with the third base coach. So th there's kind of this chart that's your third base coach, which is uh, uh, allows you not to have to make all these decisions, especially for the other team. But you roll a 12-sided dice and add them up here. And here are the, the dice that the computer will roll, and it's based on the runner's speed, he's a three, and the right fielder's arm, Evans, is really great, <coughs> is a five. So uh, in the whole, if you were doing the board game, that'd be a minus two. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that. And he's out. He gunned him down. Evans is great. Okay, so that gets them out of there. Now Boston is going to have to get into this thing. Gary Nolan. Uh, had a 316 ERA that, uh, in 1975. Here's Doug Griffin, not so great a hitter, but I think he, you know, he, it's a ground ball. I thought maybe he would walk. If this, Nolan doesn't walk anybody. All these ones, this is your walk column. He's, he's ones on everything. And in fact, you could roll a one and then even, it, it wouldn't matter because of these little uh, small sixes up here. These are just, it's impossible for him to walk anybody. Here, he could roll a one, but then the blue die would have to be a five or a six uh, to get a walk. So basically, he's not going to walk anybody. Okay, here's Burleson. And Burleson, I think he's going to bunt it. Yeah, it's a bunt down the line. Now, they're going to roll, computer's going to roll two, these two six-sided die, and they're both going to have to be above three, which is very hard to do. See, it says both higher in order for him to get a bunt base hit. And and it, uh, this one was a one. If it would have been a four, five, or six, they would have got him. But So they have Burleson on. Now Yastrzemski's up. Yastrzemski does hit into some double plays. Uh, he was 35 years old at this time. But we'll, uh, they really can't waste outs. Now they've got to go for it. Okay, there's a fly ball. And you see this little two. This means that uh, he would have, it, uh, this Foster's a great outfielder. So only if there was a six up here would he have been able to get an, uh, get an out. So it's an out. If it would have been, a, if they would have had a six up here, then he would have gotten a double, but you know, so it's a 18% chance or something like that. Okay, so that's two out. Here's Jim Rice, and Jim Rice is going to fly out to center field. <laughs> so not so good for the Red Sox. Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan is up. Come on, Dick. Uh oh, there's a base hit to right field. So this is going to be kind of a Tough game. Johnny Bench could be hitting into a double play. Back to the pitcher. <clears throat> this is a check on the pitcher's defense. 
If he can roll a four, five, or six, he'll have a double play. Otherwise, it just gets so, and he does not get a four, five, or six. So it's one out at least. And now here is Tony Perez who sacrificed to left. And Perez is gonna everything has gone wrong for Boston. If it would have been a two, he would have been out. But and now uh, Bench has a chance to score against Fred Lynn, and he's thrown out. Two base runners in the first two innings have been cut down, and Perez can't advance because he would have had to have uh, a number, a speed number higher than four, and he only has a three. Okay, so the only silver lining so far is that Boston uh, it could be eight to nothing instead of six to nothing. Okay, Geronimo's up two out. Okay, now they might get out of this, although Fenway Park is a real hitter's park so I'm gonna to have to roll a one up here to avoid there's a base hit that'll probably score Perez so now it's seven to one George Foster's up he's gonna ground out to the third baseman okay now the challenge is harder for Boston Fred Lynn 23 years old and that's gonna be a ground out to Morgan more Morgan's great at defense. You can see this, uh, the outfield here, the highest rating you can get is a five, and we have two fives, which you hardly ever see. And then the best you can do on the infield is a one, and you've got two ones up the middle, and these guys are average, and bench is a five, the higher the number for the catcher, and it's one through five, the better, so bench is, so it's, you know, Cincinnati is a really good team. Okay, here's Evans. Evans is going to foul out to the third baseman. Now, Rico Petroselli is up with two outs. Rico, now he's going to get a hit. Yeah, he got a base hit. And uh, if he would have just had, uh, it's a righty-righty matchup, so this is the 59 plus 1 is 60. If this would have just been a 2, would have been a double but that's Nolan rating kept it from being a double okay here's Bob Montgomery the catcher two out this is a strikeout okay so not looking good Griffey is up and it, ah because it's the righty lefty matchup you you take the number here on like right field, I guess, on the right side. And uh, I don't know what right field has to do with it, but you take the double over here. And 2 plus 8 is 10, which is a single. If he had been left-handed pitcher or right-handed batter, it would have been a 16, which is a fly out. Okay, so now Nolan is up. Nolan is going to hit into a double play, I think, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Now Pete Rose is up. He has no official at bats. He's walked and been hit by a pitch. This is going to be a base hit. And what is that? The tenth hit for the big red machine, Dave Concepcion. He's going to strike out. Okay, they got to strike out finally. Dick Pohl does not really strike out a lot of hitters, but he doesn't walk anybody. So I think it's time to bring in a pinch hitter here because he only has one more battery that he could face and uh, to do that we click on poll and uh, we've got everybody we've got expanded rosters I guess and uh, we can have Darren well we will have uh, Andy uh, I don't really know who this guy is merchant merchant and uh, he only had four at bats, and this will be a walk. Four at bats in the whole year. You can set it so that it's just a 25 man roster, which I probably should have done. I'll do that if I do more of these uh, from this disc. Okay, so now it's this possible wild pitch. Okay, but it's in the dirt. The catcher blocks it, bench blocks it. So Doug Griffin is up again, and he's going to ground out. He moves the runner over at least. Now here is Rick Burleson. Rick is going to move the runner over. They need to get a run. Okay, here's Yaz. And Carl Jostremski is going to walk. 
Well, if Jim Rice could hit one out of here, and he, he has the power to do that anywhere, that this could turn the game into something a little more competitive, but that that's a base hit. And uh, one run is in. Okay, now Fred Lynn. Fred, uh, this is really his first full season. He came up the year before in 74 as a September call-up. So uh, it's really, his, this was his phenomenal season when he hit 331. 21 home runs. Okay, Fred, he's got the righty-lefty advantage. He grounded out last time. Let's see what he can do here. This could be a good, it's a triple. A triple to center field right over Geronimo's head. Okay, well, this is as good as Rice hitting a double play, or a home run. Now three runs are in, and Dwight Evans is up. And let's see if Dwight could bring in one more. No, that's going to be a ground out to Davy Concepcion. So we go to the top of the fourth, but at least we've got something more interesting going on. And let's try to bring in a good relief pitcher. And uh, how about, now let's bring in Jim Burton. I don't really know who Jim Burton is, but he's pretty good. And he's a lefty, and there's going to be some lefty matchups now. Right off the bat, we've got Joe Morgan. So let's see if Burton can hold the line. There's going to be a ground out to Burleson. Good. And uh, and as, as I always say, there's great sound with this game. And I have a sound mod that makes it even better, uh, which you can find. And uh, But I have it turned off right now because otherwise it's too loud. Okay, Johnny Bench is up. Let's get him out. He is 0 for 1. He's walked. This is going to be a strikeout. Burton does strike out a lot. You can see here all these ones. Those are strikeouts. And he doesn't walk many. Uh, you can see here. And then really gives up a, a little less than average in terms of home runs. So he's a good, good player. Tony Perez, two outs. He is one for one with a double. This is going to be a tough play, but Burleson is rated a one. That's the best you can be, and he handles it easily. Okay, now Boston needs to mount a comeback. They're at the bottom of the order. Seven, eight, nine, Rico. Rico Petroselli. Where's Rico from? Rico... <laughs> He's from Brooklyn. I thought he was maybe from Dominican Republic or someplace, but he's from Brooklyn. Okay, Rico. I think he did this before. Somebody did this. You Foster's so good, you'd have to have a little six up here and, uh, and nothing else. I don't even know if he can have a six up there. I think he can. But anyway, it's really hard. These guys are really good in the outfield. Okay, Montgomery is up. He struck out last time. It's going to be a ground out to Concepcion. Now we've got Burton up. I, I don't know. I maybe should have done, done a double switch. Uh, I'm going to just see how many. Uh, the bullpen is big. And they're all good. So let's use the bullpen. Let's see if we can't get somebody to hit a home run here. We'll put in Cecil Cooper, 25 years old. See if he can't hit one out. Okay, Cooper is pinch hitting. Cooper. No. Fly out to right field. Okay. Well, let's bring in another good relief pitcher. And Roger Moret. I'm sure that's, I think that's how you pronounce it, Moret. I'm just going to call him Roger. Okay, Cesar. I, I, they call it they call him Cesar, not Caesar. Uh, pops out of the second baseman. Here's Foster. He do, he's got a double with two RBIs. You can see that down there. But it's going to be a ground out to the second baseman. And let's try to go three scoreless innings for Cincinnati. So here's Griffey, lefty-lefty again, matchup. And, ooh, well, it's a good thing it's a lefty-lefty matchup because I think that could have been a home run. Although Moret doesn't give up many home runs. But anyway, 
an eight would be like a home run possible number. It's a small one because Griffey only had four home runs, but because it's lefty-lefty, you take the 59 over here and you add one to it, and that's 60. And it just barely missed getting a double. If it would have been a two, it would have been a double. Anyway, <coughs> there are two out, and the pitcher's up, so let's get this guy out. Oh, that's a strikeout. Okay, so now we go to the top of the order here. Doug Griffin, Doug Griffin is hitting, and he's 0 for 2 grounders. This is going to be a leaping catch by the shortstop. If he would have been a left-handed hitter, it would have been a, a base hit. Okay, Rick Burleson is up. He has a base hit, and... Oh, it's the same thing. If he would have been a left-handed batter, he would have been on, would have had two base hits. Okay, Skremski, he's a left-handed batter. Let's see what he can do. They've got to get things going here. But he hits one of these to a great center fielder. You do get base hits in Fenway, though, more often than not. Anyway, it's a 50-50. If he rolls a 4, 5, or 6, this looping drive will drop. So it's got to be a 4, 5, or 6, and it is a 5. So Yastrzemski's on. And now they're calling an early hook base runner for Nolan. So Nolan has some pressure on him. He is going to, if he lets in, if he allows a hitter a walk, then he's going to go to his B rating. So the momentum has changed slightly. Rice is up. Rice has power to hit it out. And then if he does, we've got a two-run game. Oh, that's his power lane, but it, it, uh, Nolan is so good that he keeps this a 58, 57 plus 1, which is a single. If it would have been, if he would have been down here, he would have got a 10, he would have, I don't know if he's so good with a 1 up here, but the thing is, now because of this early hook rule, the pitcher is temporarily on B grades until a early hook check can be made at the end of the inning. So you see all of his numbers are grayed out here and only these bad numbers, high numbers are bad numbers, low numbers are good numbers. Fred Lynn is up. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Fred is a left-handed hitter. He got a triple the last time. Now if I wanted to, so if I want to do a hit and run, which I don't, I would click this. Okay, now there's, it's yellow. It's a hit and run. It toggles back and forth, just click it again. Here, this is normal base running strategy or t tactics. This is go for it. If I wanted, if I was desperate for them to be risky on the base pass, which I almost am, but, uh, and then this is safe. If it was like the ninth inning and I was behind by more than one run or something, I wouldn't want them to take risks. I think I, these are fast runners. Five is the only faster speed, so I will, Put it on, go for it. Two outs. Fred Lynn, here goes Fred. Oh, there's going to be a double in the corner. And he clears the bases on that double. Way to go, Fred. I think that's his second double. And look at that. We knocked Nolan out of the game, and it's a two-run game now. So I thought this was going to be a boring game, but it's not. Clay Kirby. Clay Kirby is nothing to write home about. He walks a lot of hitters. He doesn't strike anybody out. When a relief pitcher comes in, you can choose one column just for the first batter that you can change the, the number to the very best number. And the computer, the AI, which is excellent, has chosen the six column, which is the home run power column, to make it more difficult for Dwight Evans to hit a home run. but. Anyway, Evans is up. He's hitless. Here we go. That's not going to be a hit. Ground out. Anyway, it's a close game. Now Roger has got to hold him. And Pete Rose leads off. He's one for one because he's also walked and been hit by a pitch. So, come on, Roger. Sixth inning. There's an out. Pop out to the third baseman. Davey Concepcion is one for three. He struck out last time. And there 
is a pop out to third baseman. We dodged the bullet. <laughs> Often this could be a home run. Well, this would have been a home run down here, or at least a, 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 a extra base hit. I don't know if he only hit five home runs all year. He was up 507 times. So we've got two outs now. Roger is doing his job. You can see down here, Roger has been in the game for one and two-thirds innings, giving up one hit and one strikeout. Can't really ask for more, can you? Here's Morgan. It's a lefty-lefty matchup. Morgan is two for three, and that's going to be a walk. And that's because Morgan has, has an on-base percentage of 466. And now he can, because of this asterisk here, you'll see he could possibly steal Moret's hold ratings to three, which is average. And uh, Montgomery, uh, I think we'll see what I think we'll see what his uh, arm is in terms of throwing out runners. So he is going to uh, try to steal here, and you, yeah, you can see Montgomery is the three, Moret's the three, so that's average, average. And this is like a, the average number for these two six-sided dice. So there's got to be a 73 or higher, and he'll steal, and he easily steals. Okay, but it, there are two outs, and uh, now bench is up. Perez is next. He's on deck, so they've got a lot of insurance there. Good hitters, not really anything you can do about that, but try to get bench out. And here we go, bench walks. And uh, this will, this this brings up this re-roll chart, and we could have a pass ball, we could have a wild pitch. He has a wild pitch rating of three, so it's a one, pitch in the dirt. Okay, nothing happened. This BR, uh, it, this means, I don't really remember what BR stands for, but it means if he does, if he lets up a hit or a walk or, or an error, I think even, then he's going to go to his B, B rating, I guess is what it stands for, but it's not quite there. It's If he does one more thing uh, that is not an out, then he'll go to his B ratings, and I would then bring in a relief pitcher, but we'll let him, I don't know, let's see if we have a good right-handed pitcher that we could bring in. Uh, Dick Drago. I hope it's not Drago. <laughs> but he's pretty good. And we've got Willoughby, but I, it's a little, it's too early. We had trouble, you know, with six runs in the first inning. Okay, let's try to get Perez out. Perez, tough grounder to Griffith. It's going to be a close play if I roll Two through five, he's out. One or six, he's safe, and he's out. Just got him by half a step. They got him by half a step. Okay, that was a lifesaver. Now you can see there's a B here. This tells you what the pitcher on the bench, you know, their uh, Boston is in the hit now, and the pitcher is B rating. So I will have to have, bring in somebody else at the start of the seventh inning. We're at the bottom of the order, and we'll be able to pinch hit for him, so that's good. Okay, Petroselli, wow. He would hit into a lot of double plays. That's a sharp grounder to Rose. Easy play. Here's Montgomery. That's going to be a deep fly to right. He nearly put it out of here. Okay, let's pinch hit for Moret. And Bernie Carbo, <laughs> I think we'll bring him in. He might be able to do something great. Okay, Bernie Carbo is up, and uh, Bernie is going to strike out. Okay, well, he didn't do anything great. So, we go to the top of the seventh, and we're going to bring in these guys only pitched four innings and seven innings, so uh, but they will be facing two lefties. What does this guy look like here? These are really lousy numbers, so I'm not going to bring him in. And these are better numbers. He only pitched in four innings, so I'm not going to bring him in. I, I try to play it kind of realistically. Okay, let's bring in Diego Segui. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Diego Segui. 
because I was, I, I was, you know, a young man in 1975. I should know these pronunciations. Here is, uh, instead of an old man, like I am now, okay, here is Geronimo. Unfortunately, I would have liked to brought in a lefty, but they don't have any more really good lefties. That's going to be a ground out, though, to the second baseman. Now we've got George Foster. These guys can really hit the ball hard. That's going to be a walk. You can see here, Diego walks a lot. They're all fives, and then he's got all these Ws over here, which turn some plays into walks. Okay, here's Griffey. Griffey is two for three. Oh, there's going to be a base hit and possibly an error on Petroselli. Petroselli, he, that's really good. A rating of 36, which is average right in the middle for a third baseman. So we'll see 56. It's going to be an error. He muffed it. That was a hurry up throw that was wild. Wow, he had a hurry up throw that was wild. Okay. You can see over here that Kirby, Clay Kirby has four more batters he could face, but I think they'll probably pinch hit, and then we have to decide if we want to walk. No, they're going to let him hit. Okay. Uh, this is bad. Because <laughs> uh, this particular number is a column two number, so they have a a, a chart here where's the col column two looping drive to the outfield and you can see that uh, they're going to be they're going to turn everything into a base hit so we're kind of messed up here I could use worse language but I'm not going to okay so that loops in the two runners I can't believe that the pitcher did that okay come on Diego that's not an impressive beginning okay here's a double play that gets us out of the inning but now we're down by four runs. But we're at the top of the order, so let's really start smashing the ball against this guy. Kirby is not that good, but wow, it's a sharp grounder right to the Joe Morgan, who easily gets him out. Burleson is up. Burleson, one for three. Okay, there is a good long single to the left. He might be able to get into uh, second base, stretch it, and we are going to stretch it because the odds are greatly in favor of stretching this thing so one through f if I can you you add the uh, well I, let's see okay well it's it's a one so the red it goes by the red number here and it's a uh, it's easily he's easily in a second okay Stremsky's up Carl is one for two come on we need some heroics here, Carl. Oh, he does, well, it's a hitter's park. If he could roll a three or higher. Oh, he doesn't. Ken Griffey caught that short fly out. Jim Rice, come on, Jim. Hit a two-run homer and make this a game. Well, there's a line drive single. Could possibly be an error on Foster. Oh, but look, he, he has a 63 rating. <laughs> you could only, only a 64, 65, or 66 could be an error. 53, but it's not an error. Okay, but we have two runners on. We have Fred Lynn up. Fred has doubled and tripled. Fred is seeing the ball, and you can see Kirby now is down to, he's right on the verge of a B rating. So righty-lefty matchup, this could be, a big at bat pivotal it's a home run i think oh no uh it could be a home run if he rolls a five or a six but it's not going to be an out let's hope it's a five or six and we have a one run game five or a six five or a six one ooh. but one run scores and we have a runner at third now and we've got dwight evans who's no slouch so they're bringing in Raleigh Eastwick. Raleigh is good. Look at all the ones, strikeouts. Doesn't walk anybody in the five column and really doesn't give up a lot of power. And because it's the first batter, this is the hit 
where you give up base hits, the column three, and the, and the computer AI has chosen to make this one the special one where you, you're only going to ha have affect the outcome the very best number, which is a one. So it's going to be tough for Dwight Evans to bring in another run. We'll see if he can. He is 0 for 3. Come on, Dwight. Nope. Going to strike him out. Okay, well, we've cut it to three. Diego, you got to... Diego has let in two runs in his one inning. Mm. Disappointing, Diego. Diego is from Cuba. Okay. Davy Concepcion, one for four. It's going to be an infield single. And I think there's going to be like a wild pitch possibility. Yeah, and Diego is a zero. So it will most likely be a wild pitch. It is. Concepcion is down to second. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Not good. Okay, the AI... This is like a bench coach. He's moved Yastrzemski in to try to cut off the run. Uh, and I can change this any way I want it. I don't have to go by that, but I will go by it. Okay, Morgan. Let's be a ground out to Burleson. And Concepcion stayed at second, so that's good. Bench could hit a sacrifice. He won't be a sacrifice fly if he hits a fly out. Okay, let's try to strike out Bench. Diego. That is going to be, wow, a line out to right field. That was the best number that Diego could have gotten. If he would have gotten a four, it would have been a double. A five or six up here rolled would have been a four outcome added to a 30. But he did the best possible. So great pitch by Diego Segui. Now we just have to get past Tony Perez. And Tony is one for three. He strikes him out. Okay, Diego came through that inning. And we're going to pinch hit for him because we're at the bottom of the lineup. Okay, come on, Rico. Get a hit. Get on base. Rico going to ground out to the pitcher over to first. Here's Montgomery. It may be time to pinch hit for Montgomery. Who who are my other catchers here? We've got... Wow, we've got Carlton Fisk. Yeah, let's pinch hit for Montgomery with Carlton Fisk. Carlton. Oh, well, he grounds out to the third baseman. Now we're going to pinch hit for Sagi and uh, we'll have Darren Johnson, 36 years old. He's going to ground out to Concepcion. Not good. Okay, now it's the top of the ninth. We'll put Fisk in behind the plate. And let's bring in, we've got Willoughby, and we've got Dick Drago. We'll bring in Drago to pitch the ninth. Come on, let's get Geronimo out. Geronimo is two for four. That's going to be, well, it's a hitter's park here. He's got to roll a one or a two, and he rolls a two. And there is a fly out to Evans. Okay, so one lucky break. Now we've got George Foster, who is one for three. This is going to be a tough looping drive to Evans, but he is a great fielder. But in this hitter's park, it's still a 50-50 chance that, that it's going to drop. But no, Evans gets there and gets... He, he, did a, he dove forward and caught it before it hit the ground. Okay, now here's Ken Griffey. Not Ken Griffey Jr., the dad. Okay, this is a ground ball off the fielder's glove. So we do have a runner on, but Eastwick is up now. They're going to, oh, they don't pinch hit. That's odd. But now we have the bottom of the ninth, Doug Griffith. Griffin. 
He only hit 240. Let's see if there's somebody better. We need somebody who can get on base. Kim Andrew. He only had two at-bats. That's kind of... Let's put... Have, I'm trying to do this realistically and not play these fringe players because uh, I really should have had a 25-man roster. But anyway, let's let... Juan Benicas had a 358 on base percentage. So let's, and he's he's fast. Let's uh, put Juan Benicas in to hit for the shortstop. Okay, Benicas. There's a base hit. And he could steal second if he gets a good jump. He's not going to be reckless. He'll only steal if he get a good jump. And, uh, Fortunately, Eastwick is really good at holding runners on and benches as good as he can get at throwing them out. So it'll make it hard for him to get a jump, but if he can't get a really great jump, he won't go. So he's going to have to roll a 54, and he rolls a 65. Okay, now it's the ninth inning, so I'm going to play it safe here because one run won't matter. Okay, Burleson is up. we got to... Keep the line moving here. There's going to be, uh, could be a rare play. If it's a one, it could be a foul out. And uh, there's very little foul ground territory, so it's likely that it'll be a foul ball and not a foul ball out. It could be a test of uh, Burleson's speed. He's average, or it could be a rare play. But it's a test of Burleson's speed, so they're going to try to throw him out. If he can throw, if he can roll a one, two, or three, he'll be safe. And it's a three. He just gets into first base by half a step. Okay, now it gets interesting. Carl Yastrzemski, left-handed hitter against right-handed pitcher. If he hits it out here, it's a tie game. Yastrzemski is one for three. Okay, here we go. Everybody at Fenway is on their feet. Look at all these hits. 15 hits for Cincinnati, 12 for Boston, and two errors for Boston, which has probably contributed a lot to this situation. They are, you can see, playing halfway for the double play, although they have Perez playing in, I guess. I don't think Ostromsky is going to bunt. It's my decision, but he's a five. But he could hit into a double play, so it's going to be difficult. But let's, you, you got to go for it. You can't worry about that. Oh, just missed the home run numbers here. Just missed them. So that's one out. Okay, but what a lineup to have. Jim Rice hits in the double plays like crazy. But we're going to have to risk it. A double play and the game is over. A double play and the game is over. Oh, and it's going to be a double play. And the game is over. So, thank you for watching this, and uh, please give me a like if you like the game, and uh, I'll come back here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, but this is Lefty Dad, and if you want to see a different matchup, just let me know, and I'll do any matchup for a YouTube video, okay? See you later.